break up and move. Justin Arnold back here again at Flex MP. We're going to the wow or we're going to the week Wednesday. And I just wanted to get efficient with this one. We're going to use one kettlebell. If you have a light or moderate, even better, because what we're going to do is a nice high intensity interval, timed interval training session using this that's going to make it feel heavy by the end on your legs. Now, this is only a, a, a 26 pound kettlebell. And so you're maybe thinking if you're a stronger person, like how is that going to affect my legs? Well, look out because from our head to toe is going to get worked in an efficient way with using this kettlebell that's going to make you feel burning all over. Okay, so what are we going to do with this one kettlebell? Again, if you don't have a kettlebell, we've talked about this in the videos, but I'm just going to mention it. Use a different object. You could possibly uh, use different things around the house or just a dumbbell, either way. But let me show you how we're going to do this. So you're going to hold this in what's called the goblet position. And if you struggle with squats, you can get a chair and sit back on it, or you can just do partial. Go work within your ranges. But again, we're going to set the clock for 35 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, going through four uh, different movements. And we're going to start with this. You're going to squat, and then you're going to curl, and then you're going to press. So right there, we're already getting the whole body. So imagine yourself doing this for 35 seconds and just feel amazing, right, Jalen? Okay, from there, then we degress. So we're degressing with these movements. We go into that squat, but then we just go into a bicep curl. So now the arms are burning, the legs should be on fire. Whew. And then we add a little jump. So we're doing this one because we had some suggestions for, hey, I want to work some calf stuff. And I always like to be efficient. Calf raises are all good and dandy, but most of the times for most people I come in contact with, those are boring. So what we're going to do is a little squat jump. Now, if that's a little too high impact for you, just turn that into a squat to calf raise. Again, we've already done over a minute and a half of squatting, coupled with curls, a couple of presses. And then our fourth and final one, whoo, I'm breathing. We're just gonna go into a goblet wall sit. You can add calf holds or even calf raises or just a nice little wall sit with this weight. And then you should, again, feel the back because isometrically you're working that. Your core is working through all that. Your arms obviously with the curl and press and then your legs. You've got four sets of squat or squat holds. So those quads, those glutes, those calves, Everything by the end of this in one round should feel good. Now, if you got more in the tank, rest about a minute, minute and a half, and do anywhere from two to even four rounds. So that is your workout of the week. Wednesday, this could be a finisher or a workout in itself. Efficient. Everybody's got something they grab in their house, even a small child, right, Jalen? Yeah. <laughs> and do those exercises. So don't ever set limits. Get moving better, feeling better, and living better. And Ava wants to wrap us all up here today. Right, Ava? Yeah. Take care. Yeah. Hey, thanks for checking out videos just like these. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and click on notifications below to stay up to date. All these videos are posted here throughout the week. And again, tag a friend underneath if you think they might benefit from these videos. And if you need further training or further information or a little more personalized programming to meet your needs, we can create a customized roadmap to meet your needs here at FlexMP. Just click on that link below. Again, Contact us today at FlexMP to get you moving better, living better, and feeling better.